I have an important question for you if you're a real estate agent in the year 2023. Are you Googleable? If I was looking for you, how easy would it be for me to find you? Today, I'm going to give you 10 free sites that you can be on as a real estate agent to help your Google ability. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Rebecca Yusan with My Real Estate Agent Lifestyle, EXP Realty, and Think Future Real Estate. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified every time I post an AI for real estate agent video. Did you know if you partner with me at EXP Realty, choose me as your sponsor, you will get my setup for AI lead gen on autopilot for free. In fact, you'll get all of my AI coaching absolutely free. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the good, the bad, the ugly of real estate podcast. I'm your host, Rebecca Yusan. And woo, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little tired this morning for some reason. I've been putting in a lot of hours lately for the last, I don't know, <laughs> few months. <laughs> but I'm not complaining at all. But today I'm just feeling it. I'm a little tired. But I want to get to an important topic for me. And I think it should be for you as well as a real estate agent. I want to talk about your online presence. And I'm going to start with a story to help you understand why I believe this is so important. So back in, it was either 2018 or 2019, I received a lead and this woman wanted me to list her home. Cool. I'll be right there. When should I come? Right? That's how I am when I can list a house. <laughs> when you don't have a system, that's how you are, right? So embarrassing, but it's the truth. Okay. I'm being honest. So she asked me a couple questions and I set up the time and day to meet her and everything was good. Well, in the meantime, she decided it would be a good idea because she's a smart consumer to look me up and see what she can find out about me before she allows me to come into her home. Smart woman. But... <laughs> After I set the appointment, not too long after, she called me back and said, hey, I can't find you anywhere on the internet. And I was like, what? In my mind, I was thinking, who cares? I'm going to do a great job for you. And that's all that matters. But she didn't know that. I know that. But she did not. Right? I hadn't calmed her fears or suspicions. I haven't asked enough questions yet for her to make me make her trust me. I just assumed the clothes and went on my way and started preparing to meet her. So she was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know about you because I can't find you on the internet. And I don't really know if you're even a realtor. And I was, I was completely offended because my ego is big and I, I was just mad and annoyed. But I still got to meet with her. I never listed her home. I don't think anyone listed her home ever. But that was the story. And it clearly impacted me because all these years later, I still am affected by it. And now I'm teaching on it because it's so important. We think we have, you know, our website and our social profile set up. And we think that that's going to do it. But it just doesn't. I am on a mission to teach agents how to use artificial intelligence in their business, right? If you've been following me at all, you know I teach weekly classes, monthly classes. I have my free class today, and we're going to talk about four things that you really should be doing if you want to be an AI agent. It's going to be awesome. So every Wednesday at 10 a.m., by the way, if you go to my Instagram, which is my at my real estate agent lifestyle. And if you go to my bio, you can sign up for my free class. It's so fun. And I just give you a ton of great tips on what you need to do. Okay. 
And then every month I'm holding a 30 day class on all the little details that you need to get going with this. I teach you the base that you need to get going with AI. And that's such a fun class. We started our first 30 day class yesterday and it seems like everybody was very happy with it. I gave them a lot of homework. So they're, they're working on that now. So it's super exciting. But anyway, either if you're going to be an AI agent or even just a real estate agent, you've got to be up on the times, right? It's 2023. Everything is online. Everything is Googleable or should be Googleable these days. When you're not sure about something, you Google it to find out what the truth is. You look at reviews right? Reviews are so important. If I'm looking to go to a restaurant that I've never been to, but I want to try something new, I read the reviews. Maybe you don't, but I think a lot of people read the reviews to see what did other people think about this place? Is it worth my time? Is it worth my money to chance not knowing what it is and trying it, right? So the reviews are important. So you have to have all of this stuff in order to help you. And I actually have a system that I'm working on that will help you get reviews, right? We want to know what people thought about what you did. I honestly am surprised how many appointments I've gone on, listing appointments, buyer appointments, and no one knew anything about me, which is my fault, but they never looked me up. Only this one woman that I know of looked me up crazy. But that one day was very enlightening. So now I put something together and I will try to attach it to this podcast. So you'll have it. You can print it or save it. You have to have a strong online presence. So I've (laughs) been dating and there is this one special person that's stuck (laughs) and I like it. But anyway, that probably was weird to say it like that, but I'm not going to get it give any more information than that on that, but I'm totally blushing right now. He's pretty special. So he has been Googling me since the beginning. And a couple weeks ago, he said, geez, you're everywhere. <laughs> like, yeah, like he was sitting on my couch one night and he, I don't even know what he was Googling. And he's like, is this you? And I'm like, yes, it is. And you found it good. <laughs> he's like, gosh, because he doesn't have any social media. He has nothing because it's just not his thing. So when he keeps finding me, he's like, wow. Okay. I think it impresses him. But anyway, he better not ever listen to this. Okay, so your online presence is so important. And I understand we still want privacy. And you can still have privacy. You don't have to give your private details out. You don't even have to put your phone number out there. And the system that I'm putting together, you don't have to put your personal phone number out there. Okay, so it's safe. But you have to put something out there about you and your business, who you are and what you do. That's what business owners do. They put information out to attract people to them. So for using AI and attraction selling, attraction getting, you have to have information out there. So I put together the top 10 free websites that will allow you to have a full profile set up on you, including your bio. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the top 10 sites. And if you're following me and you've received my prompt for ChatGPT to have it write your bio, I mean, that's priceless. Once ChatGPT writes your bio, you'll wanna put it everywhere because you'll love it. You'll be impressed with yourself, okay? but you have to attend my class to learn how to do that. Maybe I'll tell you another day, but look for my classes. Okay. So the first site that you can fill out a full free profile about yourself and help be Googleable is the National Association of Realtors. Did you know you have a free account with them, so to speak, and you can go in there and put all of your information in. So if someone Googles your name, NAR is pretty Googleable. 
but you'll be in there, right? So go to NAR. You have to enter your nerds number, but just get your account set up and put everything in there. I'm going to tell you, this is going to take a day to a week to get all of this done. And this is something you need to do every year because things change. When I came, became an AI certified agent, now I have to go back through to all of these sites and update everything again. Things change, people change, pictures change. So I'm gonna give you the list and every year this is what you're gonna do. So first one is NAR. Next one is realtor.com. People go to realtor.com to look for homes and you, as a licensed realtor, can have a free profile set up on realtor.com. Next one is Zillow. Oh my gosh, everybody goes to Zillow to look for homes. You can have a free profile on Zillow that will help your Googleableness. <laughs> Google, okay? So go to Zillow. Google my business. This is a big one. Everybody Googles. And Google My Business is a Google product. So immediately you're going to be more Googleable because you have a Google product. This does take some time to get set up. And a lot of people struggle because they do need an address. So you could put the address of your office. Um, there is a way to hide your address, but you have to have an address because Google needs to send a postcard to you so you can verify that you're actually a place. Okay. So Google my business, do it. And then the system that I have can help you get Google reviews. Google reviews are priceless. Okay, anyone that's ever worked with you can write you a Google review, and that's a big deal, okay? Your broker's website. Every brokerage has their own website. Remax has one, my favorite EXP has one, Keller Williams, they all have one. This is your chance to have another free Googleable. Your brokerage has a pretty Googleable website, right? If you're with a big brokerage, they put so much money into these sites to make them found, right? To make them pop up as the first choice, right? So get your free full profile set up on your broker's website. Your local MLS has a website. I belong to two MLSs, Miami and uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's the Greater Regional Alliance of Realtors in Southwest Michigan. I have full profile set up on both of those because they're free. And if someone just out of the blue says, hey, I'm going to go find a realtor, they are going to look for the realtor that has the fullest profile. If you don't have a picture, I know a lot of you don't like pictures and I just don't even understand that. Put a picture up of you. If you have to take a selfie, take a selfie. But honestly, if you're following me, you have no excuse to not have a picture because I show you how to get headshots for $17. It's ridiculous. So put a picture up. It just makes you look more friendly, more approachable, and people can see who they're going to be working with. And I'm sorry, but people are visually motivated. And if they like what they see in your picture, they might call you, okay? Whether that's nice or not, it's just a fact. If they're scrolling for somebody that looks like them, they're gonna pick you because you look like them. Or they might not because you don't look like them, but it's, it's a thing. All right, your state website. I don't know if every state has a site that you can put your information on, but if it does, get it on there. For Pete's sake, fill out every box. Facebook. If you're a real estate agent and you don't have a Facebook page, I don't know what to tell you. You have to have a Facebook page and a business Facebook page. And that's a whole nother thing. There's not a whole lot you can do with your business Facebook page unless you're paying for ads. And I'm gonna get into that later. Um, there's so many things you can do with ads for real estate. I'm just not gonna go through that today. But get a Facebook page. Get an updated picture of you, not your dog. It can be you and your dog, but get a picture of you. When you're looking at your Facebook page and the profile, I want you to say, 
if I was going to buy a se- or sell a home, would I buy or sell a home with this person? Do you look like an idiot or do you look professional? Does it look like you're going places or do you, are you always complaining on your Facebook that life sucks? Well, I am definitely not working with you. If you're telling me life sucks, I don't want you. I want to know that you're positive, you're growing, you're aggressive, not in a bad way, but like, you know, you, you know your stuff, right? That's who I want. That's what your Facebook should show. Now, if you want to have a personal Facebook page and have it private, fine. That only your, only your friends and family can see, fine. I don't care about that. But you need a public Facebook page that is nice and normal, <laughs> okay? Ugh. Instagram. Not a lot of people have an Instagram, and that's okay. You better just have at least have a Facebook page, right? But same as Instagram. They can be the same. Your profiles on Facebook and Instagram can be the same thing. And actually, that is smart. Uniformity is smart. What is your brand? What are your colors? Is your logo there? Get it consistent through all of them, right? And I've been doing so many updates lately. It's been, ugh. Like, I am about to have to hire someone to keep all of my social media on brand. But there's a reason for that. That's what businesses do, right? They, they're they professional. They're businesses. <laughs> so they're on brand. McDonald's doesn't ever have a different logo. McDonald's doesn't ever decide that they're, oh, I'm tired right now. I'm not going to do this. No, they get it done because they have to. <laughs> it's how life works. Next one is LinkedIn. This is easy, okay? I'm not big on posting on LinkedIn, I just, maybe I just don't understand it. Or maybe just my, my ideal client isn't on LinkedIn. I don't know. I'm sure if I work it, that would all change, but just get a profile, a full one and your picture on LinkedIn. You don't have to get in it every day. Just set it up and let it sit there. It helps you be Googleable. And then I have a couple bonuses. You might not be posting videos on TikTok or YouTube. And that's okay. Start with Facebook. I want you to start posting on Facebook at least, and then we'll grow from there. But I almost guarantee most of you at least have a TikTok and a YouTube. You go on it. Sometimes you have that app on your phone and you go in it. I know you do. Have a profile set the heck up. If you're not, if you don't want to be public, if you want to be super private about that, then fine. I don't care. But have one profile fully set up with your stuff on it, with your professional stuff. It's freaking free. Do it. Just set it up. Okay? Like, here's examples. When I'm posting on TikTok and YouTube and somebody starts following me or comments and it's like a no name. I'm like, I I don't really know who this is. I don't know how much energy I want to give it. I might pass over you. And that might be a flaw on my part, but you don't look serious. You don't know if you're even a real person, right? So you might skip it. But if you at least have a profile and your nice picture that's congruent over all of your sites, okay? something nice. Set it up. It's free. And it helps your Google ability. It's so easy, you guys. It's so easy. Like it should be illegal. So that's it. I'll put this form on my site so you can grab it and save it and work on this. I know I'm constantly working through these sites to keep everything updated because it just matters. It helps. I don't want anyone else to miss an appointment or a sale because they couldn't be found on Google when it's so easy and free. It's free. You know I'm all about free. (laughs) I've been spending a ton of money lately on training and systems, but that's because I'm at this point, right? I got myself here. 
but I still take advantage of all of the free that I can because it's smart, right? I want to spend my money on me and cute outfits, not my stuff or my business, right? So that's it. That's my advice for you today. Be Googleable. If you're an AI agent or even just a real estate agent, you want your clients to think and believe that you are everywhere all the time. It's that simple. Everywhere all the time. Who are you going to choose? When it comes down to personality, you might choose to work with the person that you click with, right? That's a whole nother talk, right? If if you're looking for someone to sell you something, you're probably going to go like, if you tick me off or you don't feel right, I'm done, right? I don't trust you. I'm done. I might buy from you if I really want it, but I hate it. I don't want to give you my money, right? (laughs) It's like my ego. But if I'm feeling cool with you, I'm feeling like I can trust you, I know you, I can feel it, I'm probably going to buy from you. Like it's going to be a much easier sale for you if I like you because I'm vibing with you. And if people know who you are, cool. But if they don't even know who you are yet and they're comparing, like if they call 10 agents and say, hey, I want you to come to my house and give me your presentation. And before you even get there, you've shown them, look at all of my stuff. Here is me everywhere. I have all these reviews. I'm everywhere all of the time. They're probably going to go with the one that's everywhere all of the time if they don't know anything about you. Even though you might be able to woo them with your cool personality that clicks. They want the one that understands how to market themselves because you're going to be marketing their property for sale. They want to know that you know how to do that, right? It's just like a no brainer, right? So it matters. When it looks like you have experience, it matters. Have I drilled that down far enough into your heart and your soul to help you understand? Just try it. Just start working on it. Give yourself next week, since it's a full week, give yourself 30 minutes a day to get through each of these websites, 30 minutes each day for two weeks, and you'll have it done. You will be done. You'll be totally Googleable. Your clout will have just gone up 100% or 10x. Because 10 sites, 10x, right? Is that what that means? (laughs) Right? How cool. Totally different business. All right? And once you get it set up, it doesn't take long to go back through and reevaluate every year or six months or when something changes. But you have to get your base set up. Okay? And then it just takes time every year. It's not a big deal. So with that... Go be Googleable and go 